Hey, good evening. Thank you for joining us in Victory and Yeshua. I'm Billy. I'm Angel. And Angel picked the topic this week, and we're going to talk about... Thankfulness. There you go. Well, actually, it's just kind of a happy Thanksgiving um, podcast video type thing here. Because we thought, hey, Thanksgiving's coming up on Thursday, so we might as well talk about it. I agree 100%. <laughs> so, um... Billy, what are you doing for Thanksgiving this year? Mm, see, work, family, you know, our family. Yeah. Go ahead. So we'll tell you what we usually do for Thanksgiving. Um, for the last few years, what we normally do is I make a Thanksgiving dinner. And we pick out some movies, some Christmas movies to watch after we eat. But for the last, I'd say this is about the third year, we are focusing on movies that, that center around the real meaning of Christmas. Because we had noticed that a lot of the ones that we had watched, you know, in the past, all throughout our lives, actually kind of took the message away from the true meaning of Christmas. Oh. And this being the third year of us focusing on the true meaning with the movies, I can tell you it... It's wonderful. I'm glad we did it. You can tell a big difference, not only, you know, with us, but um, our, our family and the people that surround us. They, they've noticed. Yeah, it's just a more of a focus on the, the true meaning of Christmas, and that's really, really great. Um, and so, you know, of course we're thankful for Jesus, and so, you know, um, Thanksgiving to celebrate everything we're thankful for, and then to you know, start on into the Christmas season of the ultimate thing to be thankful for. Not ultimate thing, but I mean the ultimate reason in our lives to be thankful is Jesus coming to the earth and becoming the sacrifice, the sacrificial um, lamb for our sins. Yeah. And so, yeah, what, what I usually make is um, whatever they ask me to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this year we're having homemade biscuits, we're having some corn. Um, my son really loves the cinnamon rolls. Definitely. I gotta yeah. say that's one of my favorites too. Yeah, I mean we're having um, baked beans, we bought some sweet potatoes, just a, a lot beans. of stuff. Um, what is it? The mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of things. And I think we're going to try to make some cookies too. So. Yeah, some of the stuff is traditional, um, what a lot of people would have, but we, we put our own little twist with things. Yeah, well, we're vegetarians, so um, we, well, Billy and I are basically vegans, but the kids are, are vegetarian, and so, um, you know, we don't have the turkey or anything like that, yeah. but we do have a lot of good food. And, um, I guess you consider like the side dishes, but we make a meal out of it. <laughs> yeah, a meal of side dishes <laughs> for, for everyone else, probably. <laughs> but hey. But I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It's always an enjoyable day. And, you know, sometimes we would do like a craft or something like that. Maybe we'll do a craft or print off some coloring sheets and, you know, for Skylar. But, you know, a lot of times all of us end up doing the coloring sheets too. I have a stack of coloring sheets that, that we did for I think two years ago. I think mm -hmm. we'd actually laminated them and I, I was gonna hang them up but I never did. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we always read a Thanksgiving psalm. So I want to read you guys the Thanksgiving psalm that I'm planning on reading this year. Um, yeah, I mean Thanksgiving's a great day. It's a great day to be with family. It's a great day to you know, the Bible tells us repeatedly, over and over again, to be thankful, be thankful, oh. be thankful. And it really puts us in the right frame of mind, gives the, our heart the right focus. And, you know, God's being kind to us when He told us to be thankful. Cause yes, He is. it's good for us. It definitely, and, and it, it makes you grow spiritually, too. It does. And, you know, He's already provided everything, so we thank Him for it. Thank you, God, that you, you've done so much you already did every provision for us everyone so we just thank him for that yeah i think what a lot of people miss is like right there with thankfulness is gratitude yeah which so is, you know you're showing gratitude for something that god has done for you yeah 
I mean, it's uh, pretty much synonymous, I would think. Mm -hmm. Gratitude and yeah, thankfulness. They're hand in hand. Yeah, I mean, I kind of think that the gratitude became kind of a buzzword. Because it, it's always good to be thankful. Um, mm -hmm. But when you say thankful, you're thankful to who? But if you're in a society that doesn't know who they're thankful to, yeah. they might want to say gratitude more than thankfulness. This is just my opinion. But, you know, I'm thankful to God. I'm thankful to my for my family, um, for who they are and what they do, and so many people in my lives, but first and foremost to God, thankful to Him. So many things to be thankful for. Uh, there's always something to be thankful for. Always. Yeah, you wanted to read? Yeah, sure. I will read Psalm 100. I've got to find it. <laughs> well, when I when I looked into thankful, and you know, that's when I found out gratitude and thankful goes hand in hand. I also realized there was a third word there, and it's called praise. Hallelujah. And, and you know, and and you know, you can go through. Uh, well, Leviticus, they done pray. Well, they done gratitude and everything with with bread and all. But as you go uh, further into the Bible, um, you're singing songs of praise to God. You know, you're you're uh, singing songs of gratitude to God. And so that that being thankful. So what that's telling me is God wants to hear us talk. He wants to hear us praise Him. Exactly. You know, he I mean, wants you're to right. Know there. That, that's a really good point. That. Praise and thankfulness. I mean, thankfulness, praise is thankfulness and like song and action because mm -hmm. you know, we, we're praise, worship dancers to God. That is m using movement to thank God, right? Yeah. Exactly. But also to worship Him for who He is. Well, there are several verses I could, or several different examples I could give, but look at uh, Joshua on the wall. You know, they marched around the wall, but what was the last thing they had to do for that wall to fall? They had to shout. They had to blow the shafars. They had to blow the trump. They had to make a loud noise uh, praising God for that wall to fall. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting you pick Psalms because there's a lot of being thankful in Psalms. You know, David, he, he wrote a thing. Uh, I think it was, I can't remember which one it was. But at what 100, I want to say it was like 117, where yeah, I mean, when he gets the throne, yeah, and he and he's he's got this big list of things, and he's thanking God for it. You know his, you know his enemies are are defeated. Um, he's taking the throne, uh, and he and he's doing nothing. And he and all he's saying is, you know, he's he's praising God for it, and he's thanking God for it, and he's uh, very grateful to God for it. Amen. Okay, so I've got a Psalm 100 right here. It's called a song of praise for the faithfulness to his people. And God is indeed faithful. A psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Well, two of the scriptures I wanted to read, I wanted, and you know, we were talking about some of the Old Testaments, and I come across where with Jonah, who was in the belly of the well, he was in the belly of the well for two days, well, for three days actually, but if you go into Jonah chapter two, oh, it's verse nine, it says, "But I will sacrifice to you." With the voice of thanksgiving, I will pay what I have what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord, and you know that's what I was talking about. You know when when it's talking about you know sacrifice, when it's talking about um, all kinds of different things from the mercy from and all kinds of things. But but he specifically said voice 
So God really wants to hear us. You know, uh, if you read this whole chapter, it talks about how, you know, he knows that the, the water is going over him and, you know, because he is in the belly of a fish. You know, don't say well, but it does say a great fish. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but he talks about he is away from everyone and it's just, him, God, and his fish. Yep. <laughs> you know, and uh, and and that's where he found his salvation was there in the belly of the fish. He found a new perspective. A very new perspective. <laughs> so if you go into the book of Revelation, and it's chapter eleven, verse seventeen, which what th what's going on here? Well, a lot of people know about Revelation. Um, you know, God is a God of everything. He created everything. Uh, time is confined to us. It's not confined to Him. So, uh, God takes him and moves him forward, you know, so he can see the end of days. And in this, which I thought was interesting, and I'm going uh, I'm to explain this a little bit more, and I'll read verse 11. And, but, but before I read verse 11, I wanted to say, this is where 24, uh, the 24 elders and everyone's right there in the throne room of God. And they're on their thrones. And they cast their crowns down. And here's what they say. And this is after, I mean, a after a lot of things. And it says, well, I'm going to go to 16. And the 24 elders who be sat before God, so they're there with God. And the thr on their thrones, see, they had their own thrones, fell on, the f on their faces and worshiped God. Now, verse 17 is the one I wanted to focus on. Saying, we give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reign. You know, so it, my thing is, you know, us as uh, believers in Yeshua and, 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 and Adonai, we know that we're going to worship him forever. And ever and ever, and you know what? We're gonna be very happy to do that. Yes, we you know, will. And it ain't gonna be like what we have here. And you know, we we'll do something for a little while, then we get tired of it, and then we'll go to something else. Uh, uh all we're gonna to want to do is worship Him. Yeah, but I mean, even here on Earth, all believers know that worshiping and getting into the presence of God is the most wonderful thing that we have. But my thing is that they are thankful. Everyone that is there are thankful. And they are very grateful. And they are um, praising God and, and being verbally, you know, speaking out um, thankful to God, being thankful. Hallelujah. But that was my whole point in all that. <laughs> we, we are going to thank God. Yeah, that he wants us to. He desires mm -hmm. for us to. Um, he wants us to praise him with our voice, mm -hmm. with everything that we have. I mean, there's a lot of um, dancing in the Bible, verses about dancing and, mm -hmm. and other, you know, praising like that. And we'll cover that in a video or podcast. Well, most definitely, yeah. I would. I would love to do that because yes. you know, yes. I mean, look look at David. He danced before the ark of mm -hmm. God. Yeah, and we'll also yeah. do, you know, something to let you know. Maybe in that video about how we got started with what we're doing now, pray, mm -hmm. you know, worship dancing. Um, because, yeah, many years ago, we never would have imagined that we would be doing that. Yes. I mean, it's a God thing. It is ordained by God for us to do it. Definitely. He, he put it within our hearts, you know. We have to praise Him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And going to praise Him, we, we shall. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And we hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Get around your family and friends. And remember to share the gospel. Yes. It's a perfect time to share the gospel. It is. But you're going to be seeing, if you're going to be seeing people that mm -hmm. you don't normally see or whatever, yep. you know. That is, a, uh, yeah, it's always great to be an evangelist, to evangelize. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. I'm, there ain't no telling how many people got to say sitting at a dinner table. Yeah, and, you know, 
even though a lot of people say there's some topics you don't discuss, but it's like our pa the pastor at the church we were at today. He was saying, you know, there are no second chances. No. You know, uh, you got you have your chance here. So the kindest thing that we can do is to let people know about the the provision that's been made for them through Yeshua. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it's not um, being kind to them to not if you want to say like uh, bother them about it or whatever because if you didn't if you're a Christian and you don't tell them about it imagine if you know they were to end up in hell and they would probably think well why didn't somebody tell me that it's it is a kind thing to do yeah and God's put it on my heart to evangelize to everyone that comes around me you know uh, yesterday we was someplace and uh, I looked at a guy and I said, how's your day? He said, uh, is blessed and started uh, talking to him and started, um, you know, talking about the Bible and all. He said, I'm a believer. So I met a, a, a fellow brother right there. Amen. Amen. True family right there. That's right. <laughs> That's how I consider uh, fellow believers as true family. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, speaking of people telling us about the gospel, my parents are the ones who told me about the gospel, and I'm forever grateful for them for doing that. Um, some people don't have homes that, that taught them that or taught them that effectively. So as believers, it's up to us to, um, to live, not only live it out, but to actually speak it. You know, some people mm -hmm. say, well, if you're living it out, you don't have to speak it. But I don't believe that. I believe that you should speak it. I believe you should tell others about Jesus and about salvation. Because, you know, they might not ever fully understand just by watching other people. Sometimes you do have to explain things to people. So I would encourage everybody to tell people about Jesus and about what mm -hmm. Jesus has done for them so that they'll have an opportunity to go to heaven and be with all the rest of the believers and um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So you have a happy Thanksgiving and may God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Bye.